For the first time. For the first time. Contact, contact with an, an extraterrestrial, extraterrestrial intelligence, intelligence is in the hands, of people, in like the hands of people like you. And people like me. And people like me. I am Eli Richmond. I am Casey Young, and this, and this is, is the, the Star, Star Mind Record. Record. I'm Eli Richmond. On the night of April 16th, my girlfriend Casey and I were driving south through Oxnard in Malibu with a load of boxes for our new apartment. There was a man crawling across the highway. I thought I'd hit him. He was down. He was heading towards the beach. Casey jumped out to help him, and by the time I had brought the car around, something had passed between them. Something unprecedented. All right, ready? Ready. All right. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, hey worlds, this is this is the room that we have set up for Dean. Um, he hasn't come out of the closet in the last couple of days, so. We are trying to figure out how to make that happen. You want to help me explain? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what we're the reason here? we're trying to make that happen is that we're trying to illustrate this um, this strange sensory effect that, that Dean has when he touches uh, another person. Uh, so mm -hmm. far, you know. Um, so far, it's, it's been like, three times for me and yeah. uh, zero for Eli. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can you see him? Um. Yeah, there he is. Hey, Dean. Hi, Dean. Dean, do you want to come out? Dean. Hey. Hey, buddy. We haven't really figured out much in terms of communication, but, uh... Dean, come on. Hey. Wake up. Look at me. Look at me. Hey. Uh. Hey, Dean, buddy. Come on, let's get out. Let's get out of the closet. Let's go take a look around. Thing here. Honey, maybe you can help me explain, but we're kind of avoiding touching his hands for the most part. You won't be yeah, you kind right. of see All what's right. going on there? Yeah, can you see that? Uh, any ideas? Got it? Yep. Okay. Okay. Dean likes water. <laughs> Uh, we don't really, we don't know why, and we don't, I mean, apart from the obvious, because who doesn't, but... Hey, buddy, look. It's your favorite. I made it myself. Hey. Hey, Dean. Hey, buddy. Come on, we got some water. Come on. Come on. Put it under, yeah, that's it. Under his neck. Hey, look. Remember this? Yeah, there you go. Okay. There we go. God, he's really strong. Come on. Here, there you go. Yep. Yep. All right, we're going to make a mess. Yeah, <laughs> we are, but it's... God. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, good. Good job, babe. Good thinking, honey. Come on. Oh. God. <laughs> Turn him, uh, turn him around. Turn, try to turn him around towards the camera a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'm about to. He loves this water. Oh. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh. Oh. He likes water. <laughs> okay, so step one, get him. Whoa, 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 okay. Okay. Well, I didn't expect that. Well, it's okay. This is what we're <laughs> this is what we're dealing with. Um, okay, so So first now, step it was getting him out of the closet now. Now we have to get him to touch you again. Yeah. What? I wanna do this. I know. I know, but that's that's the point of the exercise. I know. I know that's the point, sweetie. It's just um, okay. Uh, okay. Well, so at this point, we have Dean out of the closet. Um, hey, buddy, look, look. Which is a, a he's not any happier. He's no, not any he's happier not. than he was in the closet. Hey, buddy, look. Is he? Is he crying me? or? 
No, it's just the water. No, he just he, he looks like he's in pain. He's anxious. What's hey, what's causing him pain? I don't, I know. don't know. We'll see what it looks like. Okay. Good. Look. Look. Yep. Yep. No. No. I mean, I can see. I can no, see. No, but fine. he's good. I mean, I don't, he's I better. Don't, uh, he's better. Is he? He's not Doesn't shaking. <laughs> he's not shaking. Well, I guess that's a good sign. Maybe I'm being optimistic. Maybe we just shouldn't force him to touch us. I mean, it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to force him to do much of anything. I know, but we need to show this effect. This is this is probably the most Im important part of this whole experience. Well, it'll before. happen when it happens. <sighs> Should I try the water again? Hey, Dean. Dean, look, 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 look. Dean. Dean, get over here. Come on, come on, come on. You got it. Yeah, don't go over there. That's a closet. Come on. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's... Come on. Come on. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <coughs> no, you don't want the jar. Touch me. Dean. No, uh-uh. Touch. Come on. Hold on. Here. Look, 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 look. Look. Yep, yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. At this point, we know what to expect from contact with Dean. Now, the first time this happened. Okay, uh, what we're seeing here is the after effects of the, the touch effect uh, that Dean has on Casey. What happens is, as you saw, she starts uh, convulsing immediately upon touch, and she this happens for about 95 seconds or so, about 95 seconds this time, and uh, then she starts drawing this. Uh, she makes some mistakes along the way. She seems to be she seems to be trying to reach for something specific. And what that specific thing is appears to be stars. Uh, we have some sort of some sort of star map of some sort. I don't know if you can see this right here. Let me get you a good look at it. There we go. It looks like like a like a galaxy or like clusters uh, uh, that you see from s pictures taken by the Hubble or uh, other you know outer space cameras and after she draws these she usually passes out she goes to sleep for some time now what I'd like to do what I'd like to do is bring in a um, some sort of astronomy uh, expert uh, because I, I'm not an expert that's another one that was wrong. I'm not an expert myself. I'd really like to know if any of these charts correspond to something real. Because they're very specific. It almost looks like a comet or something. Okay, okay, she's up, she's up, she's up. Now this is interesting. This is what happens next. She wants to, okay, okay, got some tape here, okay, oh, wait, hey. okay, uh, wow, uh, Dean has actually never done this before, uh, he's, he appears to know exactly where these should go, and is trying to help, hold on now, Dean, let me get in there, buddy, here, let me, let me, let me, there you go. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. Two important facts have come to light about the night of April 16th. First, strange lights and electrical storms were reported above Oxnard in Malibu. Second, all electrical devices within two miles of where we found Dean stopped working at exactly 12.17 a.m., including the airbase at Point Mugu. 
That was two minutes before we drove through the area, and we waited another 40 minutes to tow Dean's truck. In all that time, no military or emergency personnel responded to our presence in any way. It wasn't clear whether they had ruled us out as a threat or were simply overwhelmed. But whatever happened to Dean Ballard was but one element in a chain reaction of terrifying magnitude. So, um, what can you remember about what just happened? I don't know. What's the first thing that comes to mind? I don't know, babe. I don't want to talk about it. I don't know Eli, but he's not human. <laughs> <laughs>